good, everybody? It's your boy O'Shea Duke Jackson back at it again with another episode of your favorite news show, the Dusty News Negro Network. You know where nigga news come first. And man, I'm just so excited to be here to explore the dust of the black internet. We got a lot of great stories today. First up, we're talking about Nick Cannon exposing Eminem. Wow, because he, Eminem, that is, called black women stupid, dumb, gold diggers back in the early 90s, and nobody ever knew about it, but we're going to talk about it today, and that's trifling, you know what I'm saying? Another thing, Magic Johnson wants to take credit for the current Lakers organization, although he left and was doing a terrible job as a general manager, and I got one more story somewhere, Jeopardy music, I got to figure out what I'm talking about. The former Miss Kentucky has got caught up in a shady scandal. Dusty. Oh, just struggling out there. Just, oh, just struggle. But anyways, make sure you stay and see who gets the Dusty Award winner of the day towards the end of the video. And let's get into the news. So I talked about Eminem and Nick Cannon having this beef. It's been going on for like 10 years. All right, that's when I had a hairline when it first started. Y'all see my hairline is just struggling. It's going in reverse. You know what I'm saying? So that's how long they've been doing this, right? My cameraman was like in kindergarten, you know, when they started having this beat. Shout out to Gary. So Nick Cannon has been going back and forth with Eminem, Eminem going back and forth with him. But then they found out this song that Eminem did. And you know I'm ghetto, so I got to look at it on my iPad because I forgot it. The name of the song is called Foolish Pride. And let me just remember some of the things that he said, right? He says, I'm going to say it like this. This is Eminem. Don't date a black girl. Take it as a diss if you want. But if you don't, I'm going to tell you like this. I surely won't. Never date a black girl because blacks only want your money. And that shit ain't funny. He also calls black women in another lyrics. Black girls are dumb. Date a white girl instead and all of this. Stop the show. I'm going to be serious for a minute. Blacks don't want anything but your money. It's interesting enough because, well, a black person helped you get a lot of money, Eminem. Dr. Dre. And then when you put on some people that helped you get a lot of money, 50 Cent. Now, I know that he said this a long time ago, right? And some people want to forgive him for this. But see, this is what I'm saying. Blacks create a lane in hip hop, and then you let somebody like Eminem come into the lane that disrespect the culture and then disrespect the women. Now, let me stop right there. I've said some things about black women before, black people before, whoever people before, right? And it's not always been pleasant. We know how we talk about each other. But see, that's the thing. We can talk about each other. Yes, if you're African American, I feel like I have the right to talk about your ass all day long. Right. And you got the right to talk about me all day long because we are the same people and I love you. But I'm going to talk about you. You, you know, I'm going to talk about you. Oh, I'm going to talk about you. I wake up talking about you. You can ask anybody that know me, George, Macon, Phil. I talk about all of them all the time to their face. I can't wait to meet them. So I can talk about them some more. Right. My mama will tell you the same thing. I was listen. I was in my mama's stomach talking about people in the 80s in 1980. I came in 81. I was an embryo talking about folk. But see, we can talk about each other. We're the same people. But Eminem is a different story. How can he talk about black women? And he not black. I, it's not even about how you feel about such. Some of you brothers don't like him like that. I get it. But he ain't supposed to be able to say that. Right? And he damn sure is not supposed to come over here and then get into the mix and make millions and hundreds of millions of dollars off the same people that he criticized. Would they let you do that? Think about this, brothers. Could you go talk bad about white people and talk bad about Chinese people and any other group and then they catapult you up? That only happens in the black race. So Nick Cannon exposing that, I'm glad. And Eminem, you know what, bruh? I actually think about this a little bit different. You got a lot of mitigated gall to go after somebody when you know that this is out there about you and you're still attacking a rapper that's black. 
and 50 cent. I know you want to, you know, stick up for your boy and maybe he made a mistake or something like that. But let me say this, 50 cent, as a black man, if you talk about black women in this way, they will call, and this is a hypocrisy, y'all will call 50 cent out. But Eminem say this, y'all won't even say nothing about it. Y'all be quick to try to take my channel down or to take another brother channel down for just having a disagreement. When Eminem, y'all not going to say nothing to him. And that's the situation. You got to start having more respect for our people, our African-American people, because you know what? So many people work so hard to get us to where we are in the start of these industries. Eminem should go do something else. But saying that, I don't care if he was in his early career, he felt that way. And he never publicly apologized or publicly owned up to it or nothing. And now it's getting exposed. So, like I said, man, that's dusty. You know what I mean? Eminem, just dusty and crusty. You know, because you know the white community would have never gave you no money. You had to come over there with the blacks and get it. Let's go! Magic Johnson is back at it again with some more buffoonery. And guys, can't get enough of this guy. Awesome point guard, best point guard ever. Real good business manager, business decisions, worth a lot of money. Terrible NBA head coach, terrible front office person, just awful, okay? And, you know, the Lakers are doing really good. I think they're the best team in the NBA right now. And Magic Johnson, who, if you remember some months ago, eight months ago, quit on the Lakers organization, exposed Jeannie Buss, trashed Rob Palenka, who was the current general manager of the Lakers, he says, y'all should thank me for the success the Lakers are having. Now, Magic Johnson, stop the show. Bro, all of this lying that you're doing, bro, you need to stop, okay? Let's see. When you came back as the second time, your second career, you know, you was playing good. You quit that time, all right? Then you was the head coach. I think you quit that time. Then you came in basketball operations, and then you quit and then you exposed everybody on ESPN, called Rob Palenka a snake, and he stabbed you in the back. And then the Anthony Davis deal, remember that? You couldn't get that done because you said the Pelicans wouldn't trade in good faith. Now once they got you out of there, right, you know what I'm saying? Now the Lakers are doing awesome without you. The only thing you did do is you brought LeBron James to the Lakers. That was it. But you were trash. You even told GD Buss, listen, I'm a millionaire, okay? I don't have all day to be spending in the Lakers front office. I can only do this part-time. Well, part-time front office management gets 37-45 and 45 as a win-loss record and out of the playoffs like you did last year as a terrible person. Then you want to start crying. Why are you always crying? You know, man, I hate to do this. I hate to leave the Lakers like this, man. I just... No! Shut up! You will never get hired in any kind of position at any point again ever in sports history. You are awful. You should just be a player and be a business owner and be an entrepreneur. But Rob Palenka is the man with the plan, not you. You stunk it up, okay, bruh? So you can't be serious. Nobody should take you serious. And your dusty meter magic goes all the way up. So we going from LA all the way to Kentucky with it. And yes, Kentucky, that state where, you know, the Kentucky Wildcats play. Shout out to them, right? College team. Now you have this lady, her name is Ramsey. Let me get my iPad, y'all know I'm ghetto. Ramsey Burris, former Miss Kentucky. Y'all know I don't really don't do the white girls like that, but let's look at her. White girl fine. I mean, if I was to get my O.J. Simpson on and was interracial dating, you know, get my seal on, you know, if I was going to, you know, do, I would do something like this. Now, stop the show. Some of you brothers, when you date white girls, you do stuff like this. Damn! And you do stuff like this. Oh, my God. But if it was me, I would do something like that, Miss Kentucky, right? I mean, I mean I'm just saying, if I was going to do it. Um, but... Let's go back to the stuff. She has pled guilty to a crime. Now look at how fine she is. All the opportunities in the world, former Miss Kentucky, everybody loves her. She was a middle school teacher. What does she do? Was she selling dope? Mm -mm, nope. Did she kill anybody? Nope. Did she beat somebody up? Nope. What is she going to jail for? What is she pleading guilty for? 
sending, you know, inappropriate pictures. Well, to who? To middle school students. Stop it, y'all. Baby, look at you. White men will want you. You know, black men want you. Black men want anybody. You former Miss Kentucky. It's some white dudes in Kentucky got some money. I know that. How do you stoop so low where you flirting with little boys? And then you sending your stuff all exposed like that, just dusting it up to little kids. When you look like this, I don't get it. I don't even like white girls like that. But you know, you're not, you're not ugly. You're working with a little something. How do you do that? Then you're going to talk about it was a bad mistake. You know what? Of course it's a bad mistake. The boy was 15 years old. Now you're going to have a felony. Now you're going to be in there with some real people because they don't like, you know, you know how people are. People don't have that charge on their record like you. you you're going to end up being somebody's wife up in there for real. They're going to love you when you come up in there. And that is just dusty. How are you going to throw your wife away like that, boo? Huh? Just crusty. Now, it's so hard to give the dusty of the world away because everybody was quite dusty. Magic was dusty. You know, uh, Eminem was dusty. And, um, and the white girl was dusty. But because Black History Month is so close, I think what we got to do is kick magic out the equation and we're going to just deal with these two. Eminem and Mrs. Sexter. Drum roll, please! y'all that's left i gave magic a pass why because it's almost black history month and i want to get started early eminem you dusty and this lady you dusty this one's a racist and this one is just out there praying on the youth that's just nasty how dusty can you be it's over for you dima hook him up with that dust Well, guys, that's my time for today. Got to get the hell up out of here, but I really appreciate it. Shout out to everybody that's been supporting me, boy. Go to the subscription. Make sure you subscribe. Hit the bell. All my contact information is pinned to the first comment at the top. So y'all can come on and we're going to get this cracking. As you know, the buffoon remains at an all-time high. We out.